Hello everyone, my name is Basi from Chodipolu Online Services and today I'll be analyzing USDCED, GBPUSD and Nasdaq 100 points. Um, just to give an overview of what to expect this week in the markets. So without wasting time, let's just begin. So um, you know, first we we'll normally like to look at the DXY as the US dollar index to each the strength of the dollar. Right? We could see a um, market jumping up from this level of support and um, it's been going up towards since coupled with the news release on Wednesday right about the FOMC. I'm not going to go into that here. Um, if you need more information I'll, just, I'll attach a link in the description you can read up on that. So basically you could see the dollar gain more strength right massively. So and that is expected to continue, but right? based on the FOMC news release, we are expecting dollar to gain more strength. So with that at the back of our minds, we can you know go in looking at opportunities to either buy the dollar or um, you know buy the dollar against any currency or sell any other currency against the dollar. So okay, let's jump into our first period. Right? Here's the CAD, right? And um, you know, we would like to just begin from the monthly chart frame, you know, understanding uh, how it's been going. So, from here, quickly, we could see that um, you know, somehow, somewhat of the level of you know, support there, and right here, another level of resistance. So, basically, just a first. It break out, break out here. So price has been dancing within the range, and we see came to the bottom and jumped up from there, right? So we understand that you know we're expecting this to go up, and that's in line with our analysis from the so right? From for um the dollar to gain strength. So um we around to look at much opportunities. We see you know this is already indicating a changing trend. We see. Um, very little um, moves when it comes to upward moves, right? Impulsive sell, um, very little buy, and the sell goes down. But now we have an impulsive um, bullish move, right? So it's already giving us signal. So you know, if we go down another time frame lower, right? we could look at it and um, what we have a price kind of, you know inside this channel so basically we we'll draw this from here using the extreme heights and have that and um, can just extend that to give us a, a channel so you see that price broke out tested the level of support and it's back inside the range right so um, looking at this, what I would expect is that yes, market could re um, respect this level, seeing that it has been in this downtrend for quite a while. So, price could reject from this zone, this zone, right, and come down. Right. So, maybe price would come and test out this order block, right, order block here. This little order block so we deal with we go deep into order blocks explain what they are and how they can be used in our courses like, you, know, you can check out the page for more information on that okay so we expect the market could retrace down to this point right and you know, take that order block and um, from here we could have the um, impulsive move that actually breaks out completely from this channel. So that's what you know I'm expecting. That's what I'm speculating. So um, if we go down to even lower time frames, right? We did, um, you know, entered because this time frames are basically just showing the same thing. 
and to looking for price action signals to signal us of reversal, right? I mean, you could still cash in on the what they call it on the retracement down, the retracement down to this level. So, you know, if we go to the M30, uh, looking for um, we have this higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows, so, and this is the top of the channel. So, it could be expected that market gets here and that it gives us a break of structure, you know, you know, um, creates a sorry about that. Just draw this so creates a, comes here, comes here, or even takes out this low as well, right? So, we just have a break out of that low, then we have confirmed that the structure is broken, it could actually sell down to this level. And so be careful because this is the OG that we're expecting. I have to retrace upward from. Okay, so that's what I'll be expecting from USD chart this week in the market, right? I mean, this sell move could actually be about, um, let's see how many pages that count. Um, we get it from here, 100,000. So there are I mean, it's what always counter trend trading. But it's still you know, so uh, without much wasting much time in that, let's move on. So GBP USD is always go to a higher time frame. Understand what's going on. Right. Quickly you can see this level of resistance that market is retracing from. So we have that here. Right. So we know that this level. I mean, in the past, it has actually been a stubborn level 1, 2, and here, here we go. So we know my head is retracing from there. Still in line with our analysis that um, the US dollar should gain strength, meaning um, GBP USD should actually go down. So everything works together. Okay? So we begin to go down the watch time frames to check. So what do we see here around this? You know, you can begin to write that uh, this trend market so you will draw a trend line, right? trend line from there. So let's see, we are connecting all these to this point, and uh, yeah, we have that trend line. And now we see this was kind of a double top that broke this trend line. You can see this trend line is actually broken between them, signaling us that we could have. Oh, a lot of bearish movements down, right down here. Could be careful of this level of support, support. Yeah. So, could take profits before then. Like, it's a very long term move. So, might not be what we're looking for at the moment. So, we go down lower time frames, right? We go down, let's see the daily time frame. You can see that, yep, you can confirm this channel is actually broken. Right, my friend went up from it at the bit of a range right here and begin to go down. So from here you can begin to have different points of approaches. If you were making an aggressive entry, you could have entered after the close of this candle right here. And I'm waiting for a more what do you call it conservative right? you could be waiting for a retest of this trend line and down. Right? So be expecting something like this and uh, maybe markets coming to test the previous the lows of the range and falls right so you could be expecting something like that mm -hmm. but let's even go lower to be more specific right so yes this was the range and uh, technically this would be the ideal low right so Expect the market to give us time reversal comes up to this point. Combined with um, you know, we have this other block, right? and another block here too, right there, that green candle. So I could expect price to reach it, um, into that other block coupled with this level of support, which could now be after as resistance, and then within our bearish one. So. I mean, you could also cash in on this, so I think that that will be relevant this week. This this bullish movement here. So 
going down to lower time frames and then to m15 look for price action signals to um, get you in so having lower lows lower highs all the way so ideally just waiting for a break of this level that this level is broken you could get in right your stop loss below this low and taking profits right before the other block so that's it for gbp so moving on to our last pair and that's going to be nasdaq right. so at this point if you are if you are enjoying this analysis you want to see more content you know you should like subscribe share to friends um, it's much appreciated so nasdaq is pretty much at its highest points since inception so there's not much to see on the daily nothing to see here too so but sorry i meant on the monthly so looking at the daily now right since we are interested yet we could spot this um, ascending wedge um ascending wedge here. so with this goes to this um we can connect this and um draw this wedge right so market is back at the top of the wedge we're expecting you know we could have market retreats down here and either break out of the range or continue bullish so we could have our part in the case price coming down and then bullish right so that's what i'm expecting from now starting the coming days so let's look at the lower time frames if there's anything clear right so right here we are looking at this there is kind of a trend here we just changed the color of that so we don't get confused so we have this trend line on the lower time frame so market's been in an uptrend basically from the bounce on this um from this trend line right market's been uptrend so we have that Okay, so from here we could expect market comes to this trend line and goes up or it actually breaks out from there because you know, we're having price at the top of that wedge. So price will actually break out from here or could reduce upward before finally breaking out. So you know, that's that's what I've been expecting from NASDAQ. And so and if you trade NASDAQ you should know it's a very volatile player. So apply the price management in all your trading okay so just how you will have it you know, risk money trading for it is always risky and trade volume will not be held responsible for any loss um, incurred using streaming system if you want to you know, read this up we we'll just pause the video at this point and read it so with that we've come to the end of this analysis thanks for listening and good luck in trading markets, good luck. May you have a very profitable week. Thank you.